eat your broccoli kids. How many of you remember hearing that when you were growing up? I didn't because I loved broccoli so much I ate it before anything else on my plate. And it really is good for you. It's got vitamin A, calcium, and riboflavin, among other nutrients, and can be prepared a variety of ways. Fried, baked, steamed, or even raw. In fact, the day I'm making this video, I'm having it for dinner. The part that we eat of the plant is the tender stem and the unopened flower buds. When you've seen them blooming, it's too late. I probably should have mentioned that to my sister before she let it bloom. Oh well. Leaving your broccoli in the fridge too long can sometimes cause this to happen too. Some people don't like the stem, but it's completely edible and if cooked properly, is very tender. The name broccoli comes from brocco, the Italian word for branch or arm. And broccoli has been around for thousands of years and was a favorite food of Romans. And it was introduced in France in the 1500s and England in the 1800s, but has become exceedingly more popular in the last 30 years or so in the United States. In the 70s, the average consumption of broccoli was about half a pound. In 1997, it was nearly four and a half pounds. The majority is grown in California, which really isn't surprising, but broccoli can be grown in North Carolina just as easily. Seeds can be started indoors and transplanted after about four to six weeks. Five to six ounces of broccoli seed can produce up to an acre of the crop. Broccoli prefers well-draining soils, more on the sandy loam to clay loam side of soil texture. pH should be more acidic, around 6 to 6.5. Broccoli can be grown in fall and spring, but spring is generally preferred because the crops tend to be more uniform. Fall plantings require more irrigation as well. Broccoli requires a fair amount of irrigation, especially in below average rainfall seasons. The plants need to be kept quite moist throughout the growing season. Caterpillars are the most notorious pests of broccoli. Cabbage loopers, cabbage worms, diamondback moths, cabbage webworms, and corn earworms are the most common pests found on leaves and stems. Flea beetles can also attack young seedlings as well. Fall crops tend to suffer most from pests. It is suggested to start a program early on in seedlings and continue through production to prevent as many pests as possible. Diseases are less of a problem than pests. However, black rat, which can spread from cabbage, can be a bit of a nuisance. Powdery and downy mildew are also often found growing on broccoli, but rarely present much of a problem. Because broccoli wilts in the sun, it should be harvested in the morning and bunched and iced quickly to prevent further wilt. Stalks with open yellow flowers are overripe and unfit for market. Heads should be cut 9 to 10 inches from the base of the stem to the top of the head, with the central head having a diameter of 3 to 6 inches. Lateral shoots will sprout from the sides and produce smaller heads of 1 to 3 inches in diameter. These are not fit for commercial sale, but still can be used for freezing and home use in a personal garden. An average field is cut 4 to 6 times and harvested every 2 to 3 days for around 4 to 5 hours per harvesting. In a home garden, there may be more harvest opportunities because the side shoots can be utilized. Light frosts typically do not hurt broccoli, so a harvest into the fall is common. When do you want to harvest broccoli? Other than size, it's important to pay attention to the buds. You want them tight and firm. When they start to elongate, it's a sign they're trying to bloom and soon will be too late. In packing and grading, stems are usually trimmed to 6 to 8 inches and leaves are removed. Enough heads are bunched together to make 1 and a quarter to 1 and a half pounds, tied together with tape, rubber bands, or paper covered wire. For transport, they are kept on ice right above freezing to ensure that they reach their destination without wilting or yellowing. Lots of ice is used in transporting broccoli. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. Now go eat your broccoli, kids.